Alright, what is up everybody? This is K signing on for the commentating of um, the winners finals. Connor versus G Destroyer. Let's see what stage they're gonna start out on. Hello everyone. Jax is here. Let's see, so this is a grand final set between Connor and G-Man TCD. Oh, yeah. It's fine. I thought you were going to start off coming on stage. Yep. Uh, this could be problematic G-Man, because I remember him specifically saying that he does not want to fight with Mark because he doesn't know how to handle him in melee. Yeah. Wow. Okay, will not take the first off, but gets a solid amount of damage and puts G-Man in a very bad position. It almost looks like he's trying to try get the Ken combo. I mean, he's sitting there with the red cape, too. Yep. G-Man punishing the charge up up smash attack with a very hard hitting heal. Ah, G-Man actually recovering to the ledge for once does not manage to get off of it, though. Getting off the ledge is very difficult against Marth, especially with yeah. all of his range. Plus, they were charging that side smash. Which is yeah, not something you want to... For Zelda. Yeah. G-Man in general. He, I don't think he would have been able to get into that unless he managed to like, jump up and wave his hand out of it. <laughs> and G-Man doesn't know how to do that. But it would have been pretty interesting. Indeed it would, but uh, G-Man traded with Marth's up air with the sweet spot lightning kick, and that took the stock. However, G-Man is still at a disadvantage and does not have stage control right now. That is a big problem. Oh. You have charged shield breaker back to its melee trajectory in this game. Very, very good for edge guarding. Yeah. <laughs> But this is going to go for another kill count. Yeah. Yeah, forward airs there. Just bringing him straight across the stage. Neutral air. Look at him wave dashing all over the place. Connor is wave dashing. I don't know how uh, familiar Connor is with PM specifically. However, he reliably takes top uh, like first in our melee tournaments by a pretty significant margin, too. So. It looks like he's pretty comfortable. He's ready. He knows what he's doing. He's obviously no, no stranger to this type of playstyle. Yeah. Especially because However, it kind of relies on the same mechanics as the main Yeah, especially for Marth. Uh, yeah. Marth, Sheik, Fox, and Falco all look to be like almost exact one to one. I mean, yeah. I'm not a high level player, so I'm sure that there's some differences, but overall, that's what it seems like to me. However, G Man is honestly putting up a pretty good fight for being significantly less experienced in both games. I don't believe he's actually played PM more than maybe once or twice outside yeah. of the tournament last week and this week. So, ooh! Does not get the attack hitbox off. And the ledge is still technically taken in melee and PM when you're rolling. Gets the first game. Yep. Let's see what he bans and where G-Man ends up taking him for game two. Are they? Are, is G-Man going to switch, switch characters? It looks like he's considering. Maybe. <sighs> he doesn't really have other characters oh, though. He's, he's messed around a little bit with Meta Knight, and other than that, I don't know. Luigi. Luigi. Oh, All right, he's melee. trying his melee man. I seem to remember him saying that he didn't like Luigi. Also, Three. Luigi versus Mark is a I, terrible I, matchup. I, I think. <laughs> But he just feels like it's almost the same as melee, but he feels like it's much better in melee. Alright. So this is going to be pretty interesting. Just need to see what the best is. And they're carrying over with the spike. Yeah. Just to get that first stop. It's only 26% on him. However, isn't Luigi versus Martha a very bad matchup for Luigi? Because yeah, his whole problem is range. Especially nice DI the there by J-Man. Project M. It's, it's really... 
<laughs> Shoutouts to Vendetta in the chat. But, yeah, it having a character whose weakness is no range against, like, the range character is just not a good thing. But he seems to be doing at least decently with it. Like, outside of that early game. Yeah, but did get caught by the up out of shield. Alright, uh, can you move the mic closer to your mouth, maybe? Yeah, Alright, talk a bit. Is that better? Hello? Can you hear me now? Is this better? Or worse? Actually, I, I probably yeah, I can just talk that. really loud, so... Here, I'll speak it, a little bit quieter. Better? Anyways, is, back to the yeah, match! G-Man tries to shield but ends up uh, air dodging just off the stage instead. I will never understand how you can uh, like wave dash off the stage and grab the ledge, yeah, but I, you can't air dodge right above it because you'll then, just fall through you'll, it. Yeah, you literally just get... Oh! And that gives Connor, Connor will take another game two. win. With that, it is now tournament point for Connor, and G-Man has some serious ground to make up. He does. Is he gonna switch characters back to Zelda? Right now? You guys All have right. to head out? Well, this All is right. Kay signing off, and I will leave it to Jaxus. Alright. Well, looks like I will be commentating the final game. You'll excuse me for just a second. Meta Knight. Anyways, looks like G-Man is going to be trying out Meta Knight. I know he's messed around with him a little bit before in PM, but I don't know how familiar he actually is with him. Not very, it looks like. <laughs> but, uh... Unfortunately, G-Man dropping a stock like that really early on is probably going to really hurt him. However, he seems to be doing very... Er, fairly well, even despite that. Like, he is currently winning the percent trades. It is entirely possible that this would come down to just that SD at the start if he keeps playing like this. Ah, I get it. Uh, Meta Knight's upbeat recovers nowhere near as high in this game, it looks like. Like, uh, after the loop, you're almost as low as you were before you started, and you don't appear to be able to grab the ledge while in the loop. But, with that, G-Man brings it back to what would be even, barring the SD. However, he still definitely has ground to make up, and it looks like Marth is getting that chain grab on him. Just throws him up, pressures him quite a bit on the platform. It's really hard to cover the landing. Or to choose the correct option when Marth can cover most of them. Ooh, trying to challenge up smash with down air. Probably not the best idea. I wonder if you can't angle that in PM. But with that, G-Man is on his last stock, and things are looking very good for Connor right now. Ooh, attempting a Ken combo doesn't quite make it. Does manage to recover to the ledge, though. Is he gonna go for the spike again? Doesn't look like it. But I believe that back air will take the stock, and indeed it does. G-Man needs quite a bit more, but it is definitely a start, and comebacks worse than this have happened before. Oh, Spot dodges the Dolphin Slash. That would have been stock, but manages to just avoid it. Uh, not sure what the priority is for uh, Drill Rush. Not a night in this game. Did G-Man just kill himself? G-Man just killed himself. <laughs> and with that SD, Connor will take game three and the tournament.